This video is going to be very difficult for me because I am going to try to do hardly any editing. And it's only difficult because I tend to go on sometimes. So I probably will edit a little bit just if there, I have to run and go get something, who wants to watch that? I might speed up a couple things if it's just taking too much time, but I'm gonna try to very much curtail the editing and that means it's probably going to be really long. So if you like long videos, this might be for you. So I will not talk about the makeup too much, except I am trying some new things that I'll, I'll tell you my thoughts on it as I'm using it. Speed reviews is where you want to go to see how I like a video, how I like makeup after I've used it for a while. I've tried it in different settings, different things with it, combinations, you know, all of that stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna try on some new makeup here too. So that's kind of crazy that I'm doing that. So, <laughs> all right, so let's get going. This is the Catrice Plumbing Primer. Um, primer, plumbing primer. It's a primer. See, I'm nervous, but this is kind of a jelly kind of consistency and I tried it once before and I felt like my makeup was less cakey. I tried it one side and then the other side I didn't use it. I felt like my makeup was less cakey on the side that I didn't use it. So I'm going to use it the whole way, um, my whole face, and just see. Okay, I feel like I have to rush. Why am I feeling like I have to rush? That's weird. Because I know it'll be a long video. That's why. <laughs> And some of you love long videos, and some of you are like, okay, that all could have been condensed to five minutes. So I try to do a combination. Oh, it's peeling. It's pilling. Oh, no. Is that my skin, or is that the... Oh, maybe it was just my skin, because I don't see it any other place. Okay, I think that was just my skin. I am dealing with some major peeling of skin. So that's something this has to contend with. So therefore I'm going to go with a very hydrating foundation. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, this is the hydrating tint and I've used it many times. I do not like it with a sponge. I definitely like it with a brush and I'm going to be using all refer brushes. So this is the number 31 brush. I like this for foundation. I hate the applicator of this, but I'm also very much not tanned right now. So it's a good thing I have a lighter thing. And because of time, <laughs> I'm going to do this all over. I don't normally with this do it all over my face from the beginning. But I'm nervous. I'm nervous about going, wow, man, I look so white. Um, I'm nervous about being too long a vid video. So this is a lighter foundation for me and I am, like I said, not as much self-tanned, mainly because I've been dealing with some peeling skin and peeling skin on self and self-tanning on peeling skin is never pretty. I mean, we're not, we're talking not pretty at all. It just peels off and then you've got this whiter skin underneath and uh, it's not, not pretty. So I've been trying to not self-tan because of it. Okay. I know that this is buildable to a degree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to cut that out. Okay. <laughs> um, but I don't think this gives huge coverage, as you can probably tell. Like, I have a lot there. So I am going to go in a little bit more. <clears throat> oh, I have to clear my throat on camera. I don't like that. Okay. I guess I could cut some of the yucky parts out. <laughs> this is a very hydrating foundation and that's good. So I'm going to just pounce it in in the areas that I need a little more coverage. And I have hair right there. But it does feel good. Okay, I might speed up some areas that it's just boring to watch. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Yeah. I like that, though. 
This is a really nice foundation. I like it. Okay, I am going to use a new concealer. It is Natasha Denona's. This is such a viral thing. Everyone is raving about it. The problem is I've seen a lot of women who are in their like 30s and 40s using this, raving about it. And it says it's creaseless. It says it um, has good coverage. It's hydrating. It says all these things and claims, but it is, is it all really all that? So um, I got the color N7. I have used this a couple times and so far I'm not impressed. So I had much drier skin. My skin is on the other end of it. It's getting better. It's not as dry. So I'm hoping it was just because it was so abysmally dry. I'm going to put it on my hand. I would say this says it's N7. N means neutral. I think this looks orangey to me. I, whoops. I think it looks orangey, but you guys can tell me what you think. I'm going to use num refer number 36 brush to put it on, but I'm going to use my finger first. I just get a tiny bit. I really do not like a lot of concealer, so I'm going to use my fingers first and then I'll go in after it sits for like 30 seconds. See, I think that looks a little yellow. Do you guys think that? I don't know. Okay. I did get, no, I'm not gonna tell you that. See, I can't cut that out. <laughs> so you all are going, what did she get? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm like, this is bad, this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this, because what are you gonna do? Watch this sit for 30 seconds. Of course, I have some goobers. Okay, I'm just gonna push this in. Okay, it's already looking better than the first couple times I used it when my eyes were severely dry. It's not looking good. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm hoping this will show. I'll let it sit for a second. Usually it goes in. Do you guys see it's just really patchy and dry looking? Hopefully that's coming, that's showing up. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and see if my oils, that like my skincare that's on my face and everything kind of mixes in with it and maybe hydrates it a little bit. We'll see. I do have a couple little tricks that I might try if it doesn't, but I am on the brink of returning this. I really am because I've used it so many times. This is expensive. I got it during the VIB sale for Sephora, so I did pay 20% less, but I should love this thing for how much this cost. So, not happy about that. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows while I'm waiting for that to hopefully marinate under my eyes and get a little bit better. Let me clean off my brows a bit. And see if I can get my brows done in a shorter amount of time. Okay, now they gotta dry. Dry, dry. <laughs> Gonna use my Ciate Micro Brow Pen. Love this thing, and I've been using it nonstop. Okay, I can't talk. Oh, it's still wet. My eyebrows are still wet. I mean, it went on a little bit, you can tell, but. Okay. Filled those in a little bit, but I'm gonna actually fill it in more with a brow pen, a brow pencil. So, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna do this and speed it up. Is that considered editing? Yeah, I think it is. But I didn't say I wouldn't do no editing. I said I would do less editing. Pencil's done. And now I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Brow Duo. With my Anastasia 7B brush and just soften up everything. Okay, they look decent. Let's look at what happened to my mirror. Here it is. <laughs> Let's look at the under eye. That one's not looking bad. Okay, it's not looking horrible. I got some. Uh, stuff on me. It's not looking bad. 
but I don't think it gave me great coverage. And I didn't use a corrector, but... All right, I am gonna try a little trick in a minute. First, oh, I need my eye primer. I thank me later from Elizabeth Mott. Oh, my eye is itching me. Oh, okay. And Pericone MD No Makeup Makeup Eyeshadow. Gonna use Refer Number 32 brush. Love this brush for doing this action right here. It's like the perfect size. And I just pounce that in. This covers up all my veins and discolorations. I often, if I'm not really wanting to look like I'm made up, made up, but I wanna just look a better version of myself, <laughs> I will use just this and nothing else. I mean, on my eyes. Okay, I am going to set that down because I don't have time for it to really, um, I don't have time to let it set. So I'm just gonna use a sponge, beaky sponge, not sponge, puff, beaky spot, puff on my heart. Powder my nose. Okay. Now I am gonna powder under my eyes. Let me get my mirror a little bit closer. Close up mirror. I'm gonna pout underneath this and powder it down a little bit. Just so it's not so sticky. Yeah, it's just not giving great coverage. I don't, I don't, I do not get the, re I'm returning this thing. I just don't get what everyone sees about it. So I'm going to try a little trick. This might be a biggest mistake ever, but I love the Fenty Beauty. This is her soft matte powder. It's a foundation. And I'm going to actually try to put a tiny bit under my eyes to give me better coverage. I have not found this to be drying. So I don't know. I've never done it under my eyes. At least I don't think. I probably have. I can't imagine I haven't. Okay, I'm going to push it into my hand because I don't want a ton. I'm going to, oh, what do I have on my eye? Under my eye. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it I guess I'm sure I've done this before. Have I done it on camera? I don't know. Hmm, that might have been a big, big, big mistake. Well, well, it's less blue under there. So, I don't think it did anything. Okay, it looks a little bit drier. <laughs> Not what I was going for. So, I, I, I don't know how to remedy this. I just don't. I, every time I've used it, it looks bad. I do have one other trick. I'm gonna let everything just kind of settle. I'm gonna try one other thing, a newer thing. I'll let you know. Okay, I do have a new eyeshadow palette. It's called Sephora Color Shifter. I got it during the VIB sale, so it was 30% off. But look at those colors. Are they not gorgeous? Now, I've tried this a couple times already. And first, this is a limited edition. I've been looking for my ideal quad or quin what if it's five colors that's a quin correct quin tuplets sex tuplets yes so quin <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong but i'm looking for i want a lighter a little bit lighter than this color for an all over kind of thing a little bit darker than my skin then this would be the like crease, like the corner, a little bit darker. Then this color's perfect for right underneath my eyebrow. And then this color is a shimmer, which is perfect. But I will tell you that this and this one, this one's really bad. The, the shimmer is beautiful, but the fallout is intense. So those are the shimmers. They're beautiful, like I love them, but they really have really bad fallout. So 
it's hard to see that because I know they're so light. So I'm not happy about the shimmers in this because of the fallout. So I'm going to try a different color for that. So I am going to use this though. I'm going to just do it real light because, you know, we're having to do this very quickly. So I'm going to go in with this bottom one here. And it's a lot of powder. And I'm just going to put this just right above my crease kind of just use that as my corner and not really worry about any other color. Well, I am going to put another color on, but I'm babbling. And I know it's darker there, but I'm going to bring it down just a tiny bit. So it'll be still darker here, but just a tiny bit. Do that again. Most of the color is on the corner. And then bring it just a little bit. Kind of just hit it over there. All right, I'm going to go in with the refer number 23. So it's a real thin brush. I know y'all can't see that. It's real thin, but wide. I'm going to just get a tiny bit of this lighter color. Not the shimmer, but it's just this light one here. And I'm going to just put that right underneath the brow out. It's going to be hard for you guys to even see a difference, but I can see the difference. It kind of just makes the eye look complete. Make sure it's not real light. I mean, real dement. This is the part I would cut. It makes sure that there's not a line of demarcation where the two colors change. Okay, a little bit more. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit and lighten up that area. Not a lot. Again, not very noticeable to you guys, probably. Okay, I like that. All right, I'm going to take the Refer number 23 brush. This is a really tiny pencil brush. And I really like it to go underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go again with that color on the bottom. And I'm going to go just under my lashes and only go a tiny bit past center. I'm not going the whole way. Kind of lift it up a little bit. Not like an eyeliner really, but just kind of give it some movement going up. Rachel and I are going out later. Rachel's my daughter, if you're new around here. She's 24. She's a medical esthetician. And she has a show to go do. Like, they go, they do these shows, I don't know, holiday shows or something, just to kind of drum up business for the med spa. And she has been asked by her boss to go sit at the table. And it's an hour away, and it's dark when she gets home. Not, not that she can't handle all that, but... She's like, I don't want to go by myself because there was nobody else available. So I told her I would go with her. So I'm going to go sit at a booth with her. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Because I don't like the shimmers in that eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use a different one. This is the Glow Shots from NYX. This might be too light. I don't know. It's very light. I don't know. It's such a pretty shimmer, though. I know. I put it in such a weird spot. Why did I do that? Do y'all see that? Okay, there you go. Oh, in my dark spots, you can see. But it's very, it's pretty. So I'm going to use this. Um, okay, I've never used this. This is new to me, so hopefully I like it. Oh, boy. It is bright. But hopefully it diffuses. Oh, I think it is. I have another one of these in a different color, and I love it. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm loving this one though. It's drying down quick, so you gotta move fast. Hmm, I'm gonna see if I can salvage that. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, it's not horrible. Like, I'm not like hating it, but I'm not also loving it. So I'm gonna take the same brush, there goes my thing, that I put this color on here just kind of blend it in so it's not so noticeable. 
Again, that line of demarcation. I don't know, let me look farther away. Mm, I'm not sure if I like that too much. Should have gone with the darker. I'm gonna get the darker, hold on. This one's much more of like a gold. And I really do like this color. I'll put the colors on the screen here a little bit. Oh, I need it, I need it. Get closer, Bobby, get closer. Keep your eye open or closed. Yeah, I like that better. It's not as white. Trying to keep it underneath my crease. Like I don't like it to go above here because I'm kind of puffy right there in my eye. Okay, let me take the brush and I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna take the number 13 Max. This is actually a new brush. Oh yeah, that's got a little bit more stiffness to it than what I was using and it's better for this. Oh, I like this brush. Wow, I really like this brush. It's the first time I've used it. Yes, that's good. I'm gonna dip into my color, this color here and this one right here and just kind of blend. So it's kind of not, you know, they kind of meld into each other. Okay, that I like. I need a brow gel. I have some dark, um, whatchamacallit. Hmm, I'm gonna use Too Faced Brow Wig. Have you guys used this? I don't think I like it too much, actually. But it does relatively well covering up grays. I wouldn't call it the best. Yeah, see, I can still see my grays going through there. But it's a little better. Okay, I'm talking too much, aren't I? Okay, time to curl. This I'm gonna speed up. I'm using the Refer Curler Lash Curler. Best lash curler I have ever used. Like, it's just so good. And Refer right now is having some sales. I would take advantage of November. I think 50% off on things. Like, really good sales. That's why I decided to use all their brushes in case you guys have not purchased them. They really are good brushes. Okay. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof. This I love because it's just easy. It applies easy. It's not clumpy, so it's very easy to get a nice natural look. Okay, it stopped, I had to go again. That means this is long, it's a half hour already. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lash, bottom lashes. And I have it all over me. <laughs> and then when I do that, I like to just take my finger and get anything clumpy because I don't like it to look like I've got major l lashes on the bottom. I just kind of want to show up. Okay. My under eye is looking abysmal. I do want to change that, but I have to let this dry down. I should have thought of that before. I did not. So we will do something else in the meantime. Let me put some lips on. I'm going to use Milani's lip liner. I know I'm speeding. I forgot the color. I'll put on the screen. I like to fill it in and just soften it with my finger. And then from Sephora, I did get a new Merit lip oil. I love their Merit. I love the Merit lip oil. It's, they're just so good. This is in the color, I think, Aw Naturel. And it's just pretty. This is probably the only lip oil I've used where it feels like an oil. And it's comfortable. And if you want to have all clean makeup, Merit is all clean makeup. Okay, my lashes are definitely dried down. I'm gonna try a trick. I bought this, what is it called? It's Tatcha, I'm using my magnifying glass, the serum stick. This supposedly, I've seen a few YouTubers talk about this, 
where you can, I kind of ruined it. It kind of got crushed, crushed. Supposedly this will make your under eye look less dry um, and it won't take off makeup. Now I've not used it over makeup. I've used it under makeup, which I thought about doing, but I wanted to try this trick. I'm going to do it this way because I just feel like running this under my eye is risky. I don't know, but I'm going to just dab it. <laughs> not sure about this. I think I saw Lisa J doing this. Man, I saw someone else doing it. I forgot who it was. Okay, let's just let that sit. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if that'll make it crease more. All right, I'm going to put on Makeup by Mario. Um, his... Oh, I always do the wrong side. It does have a brush. I don't like the brush. I'm using my own brush. This is his bronzer stick. And I am going to... You know what? I'm going to use my... I'm using the Refer number 17 brush. It's one of my favorite brushes as well. Because it's just so perfectly shaped and sized. So... This actually is not my favorite bronzer, but... Oh, actually, that looks nice. <laughs> this is now my new favorite bronzer. I'm just kidding. My favorite one is actually Drugstore. It, or, it's not really, it's Revolution, and it's, I don't know if you want to call Ulta Drugstore. They do have a drugstore side, but Revolution is more affordable. All right, I'm sorry. I do like this. This is very pretty. I like to just do it like my whole area there and then I will take it down my chin, blend it in, do more on my forehead. I've been doing a little bit more on my forehead lately. Just being a little bit more, I was a little conservative with my forehead, but I don't, the more I put on it, the more I like it. And it just warms up the face. Do y'all see that looks, oh, I look greasy. Look at the greasiness. I'm definitely gonna have to do, address that one. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Go on my temples. The hair is a problem. Look into my viewfinder. It looks so much more distinct than in person. <laughs> okay. I am going to take my number 24 brush from Refer. I, this is like a bulbous kind of thing. I don't know. It's got some give to it, but it's also got some stiffness to it. So I really like it for feathering and blending and just making sure things are a little bit more blended. Do you see how much nicer that looks? Yeah. You can see my, yeah, see that part right there? That's my skin. That's not the, the bronzer. And that's because the foundation isn't full coverage, but yeah, that's pretty. I like it. Okay, I'm trying a new blush. Oh, should I fix this first? Yeah, I should, because it's gonna go kind of near that. <gasps> what do I use? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just powder it down because that's too greasy. And I'm just gonna use a uh, Physician's Formula Butter Believe It powder and use a sponge. I'm using the other side, not a sponge, a puff. Okay, I need to know what this looks like. <laughs> Oh, I made my, do you hear that? <laughs> See, I would cut that out. My throat made gurgly noise. See, I'd normally cut that out. Okay. Okay, you know. I actually think it made my eye, under eyes look nicer. And more. 
a lot, I mean, it's still a peeling skin under my eyes. It's not gonna take that away, but it's kind of melding it into my skin so it's not so noticeable. Now, I don't know if powder is gonna make it look worse, but right now it looks too greasy under there and that doesn't make me happy. So I'm just gonna powder a tiny bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, that side's better. Hopefully this side will look better too. Okay, that's much better, much. Okay, all right, I think I'm actually liking this. This thing was not cheap. It would last you a long time though, because if you're only using it for under your eye, it would last a long time. So, I'm actually, I'm really happy with that. Okay, yay. The um, blush, where's my blush? What blush was, oh, I'm gonna use a new blush from Laura Geller. I literally got this two days ago, so I'm just anxious to try it. This is her True Tawny um, Serum Blush Cheek Tint. So it comes, it's in a tube. I've opened, I only put it on my hand so far. I haven't done anything on my face. So I'm not sure how much, okay. I think I'm gonna put it on my hand first. So this is the color. And I'm gonna use the refer number um, four brush. And I'm going to put it in this. Oh, this is pretty. Put a little bit more on my hand. I think you need enough. I mean, it's a serum, so it's gonna be lighter, but obviously it's buildable. Look at my hand. This number four, right? Number four? Ugh, perfect for cream blushes. It's just the perfect little size. Okay, that is pretty. One of you on my Instagram, when I posted, she said she didn't like it because she didn't think it was buildable. So, I mean, I don't know what she likes as buildable. We all have our different preferences. So I was kind of worried it wasn't gonna look good. So, I don't, I don't know. I actually think that's pretty. Very much so. I do need to powder down because I'm seeing a little bit too much glow. So let me powder a little bit more. How long are we going? Oh, we're just going so long. <laughs> All right. So that's the completed look. I actually like this. I think it's pretty. I think my eyeshadow is nice. It's a little bit darker. This is definitely not my answer to having the best eyeshadow palette known to man. My absolute favorite one is from Tarte. It's the Tartlet in Bloom. I love it, but it's a bigger palette. I want one that's small like this like just exactly what I need. And I, I probably am just gonna have to create it on my own, like a Z palette kind of thing, or a, is that what it's called, a Z palette? I don't know. Anyways, oh, the sun is starting to come out strong. So, okay, I will list everything below. This was fun. This will be easy to edit because I'm not allowed to edit too much. <laughs> All right, I did do one where I didn't edit and it was doing my makeup in 10 minutes. I did it, I don't know, a year ago or something. So I'm going to link that one right here because that one was much more of a challenge. Oh my goodness, that one gave me stress or I call it agita. So <laughs> I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.